you know, I'm here in Colorado and I'm staying in this tiny, tiny little cottage, little cabin uh, made of wood. And there's no heat in the cabin. Um, and so all there is to heat you uh, is a nice little, little wood stove. And wood stoves are beautiful and they're brilliant. They're really gorgeous to look at. So last night, the weather got colder and I'm stuck in the cabin and it's starting to snow and rain outside and I get this wood stove started and I was really captivated by the fire. I mean, who doesn't love fire, right? I mean, a campfire, uh, when you're camping under the stars, even a, a fire in your backyard, when you're just trying to get rid of some of those leaves and sticks that have accumulated, or, you know, even a fire that you're cooking hot dogs and steaks and hamburgers over. Fire's beautiful. And last night, um, I spent some contemplative time in the house with all of the lights off, staring at this wood stove. And the fire was blazing and just getting started. And when I looked in it, I couldn't help but feel the presence of God. And as I was sitting there thinking about fire and, and why this moment was so special and why I felt so connected with God, I thought back to all these other experiences that I had in my life with fire, about how, how much we love to sit around fires and, and chat, but also how we love to, to sit and be in contemplation. There's something about a fire that just makes you want to slow down and just stop. It makes you just want to sit there and stare at those flames bouncing up and down or even a little bit later as the fire goes on to stare at those coals that are pulsing. Such bright red. And as I thought about fire and I thought about feeling this immense presence of God, I thought about the way that God speaks through fire. You now I thought about Moses and this burning bush. And as I'm driving, I stop and I see a field full of bushes. And I couldn't help but think of Moses and um, God was speaking to me. Last night, uh, I got some news that was unexpected um, and I was surprised at my reaction. You know, oftentimes I'm a realist, right? I'm not an optimist in any way. I tend to go straight to what is the reality of the situation? How's it really gonna go? But last night I got this information, I got this news and I had this huge overwhelming sense of optimism. I felt the presence of God. I felt hopeful. I felt positive. And it couldn't be anything but the presence of God. And as I sat and I, I looked at that fire, processing this information, processing this entire trip, processing this space that I've communed with God, I couldn't help but feel God with me. And I hope that you've experienced similar things in your life. As we go through the challenges and the trials of this life, as we get thrust into the fire, those are the moments that we encounter God in the greatest way. Those are the moments that God is able to speak to us. But it only happens when we stop and we slow down enough to listen. You know, very easily, I could have driven by this field and not taken in the bushes, and very easily Moses could have ignored the burning bush and, and walked past, and, and very easily we cannot take in the fire that God places in our lives, the fire that God places in our spirits and our souls. We can just ignore it, go through the motions, continue on with our lives, with all of the things that we're passionate about, that we care about, that feel more important to us. But in those moments that we really stop and we really commune with God, we find God. And last night, for me, that was sitting with this beautiful wood stove and watching these flames jump around, dancing almost, as though God was reminding me that life is beautiful. It's fickle, it's confusing and mysterious in so many ways, but it is beautiful, just as those flames are beautiful. Anybody knows anything about fire? It's incredibly unpredictable, right? It just jumps all over the place and it's hard to control. And we feel that way about our lives sometimes. We feel that way about the adversities that we encounter, but God is with us and God is speaking to us through those things. And all it takes is a shift in perspective. All it takes is to allow the fires of this life to refine us, to mold us and shape us, to fortify our spirits and renew our souls. And if we allow ourselves to be thrust in the fire, if we allow ourselves to listen to the call of God, 
think we find God. I think we find hope. I think we find peace. I think we find restoration for our weary souls. But all it takes is stopping, appreciating the fire, taking it in, and listening for where God is calling you. Friends, I don't know where God is calling you, but I do know that God is calling you. And maybe it's in a burning bush. Maybe it's in a campfire. Maybe it's even in a wood stove. But what are the ways that God is calling you out to be all that you are called to be and more? Thanks for watching. These are your thoughts, potato. This is the hope of God set free. These are your thoughts, potato.